Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today we are going to talk about cleaning up your distorted guitars while not using Soothe. All right, so we are in our mix, we are dialing in our high gain guitars, but we want to clean up that super high gain top end spikiness that we all know and hate. And what are we doing? Well, a lot of you are going for Oak Sound Soothe, Soothe 2, plugins like that. And you can do that, but the problem with Soothe is you lose a lot of energy when you do things that are both automatic and kind of wide sweeping like Soothe can be. Now, I'm not saying that's an incorrect way to do it because there are no rules here in the mixed game. However, I wanna show you a different way to clean up some of the erroneous frequencies that may be in your high gain guitars. So currently I am in Logic Pro. I recently shot a video for my Kill Switch Engage signature comparison guitar, and this is the tune that I did for that video. Um, I used my 20th anniversary Bogner Shiba, Shiba for this example. In the video, I used the EVH 5150. And this is a very simple mix. There's bass, rhythm guitars, a little lead thing, and some drums. And that's basically it. So currently, here is what the mix sounds like. Sounds cool. I was absolutely trying to evoke the Kill Switch Engage Metalcore vibe, and I think I did it admirably. Now, this is the Bogner Shiva 20th anniversary amp, and it sounds cool. I like where the mid range sits on this amplifier. However, I hear some noise. I hear some, some weird spikiness. Now, let me introduce you to the Corniff Audio Amplified Instrument Processor. Uh, this is created by Dan Corniff. Uh, the amazing mix engineer, uh, producer, uh, audio nerd. Um, you know, he did the, the Paramore. He mixed the Paramore Misery business. I mean, what more do you need to say? He's mixed many, many other things, Breaking Benjamin uh, amongst them. However, this is a plugin that he kind of created to aid himself in just kind of having the tools that he wanted to see in a plugin. Now, I have done some basic EQ, I've done some high pass filter, some low pass filter, I have a little bit of VCA compression going on on these rhythm guitars, however, that's not why we're here. We are here for the insufferable mid-range filter. Okay, this section of the amplified instrument processor should be its own plugin. Dan, if you're watching this, this should be its own plugin. Please make this its own plugin. However, the sauce is where the IMF is. Now, I'm gonna isolate my guitar so you can clearly hear this. Now, please have some earphones or be listening to studio monitors. Do not listen to this on your phone, but maybe you'll hear it on your iPhone, I don't know. But let's go ahead and listen to the guitars by themselves, and we're going to enable the the insufferable mid-range filter and I'm gonna let you hear what I hear via this plugin. Unpleasant, isn't it? That's the spikiness that I'm hearing now. With this insufferable mid-range filter section, listening to it boosts those nasty frequencies so we can pinpoint them easier. And then this frequency knob, I can sweep and hear where the problem area is. So again, we're gonna, we're gonna listen to that nastiness and we're gonna sweep and we're gonna find the problem area, which I already know is about 4K, shockingly. 
but we're going to sweep the frequencies just to make sure we're in the right area. Let's do it. Now, the reduction is obviously the amount that we want to dip those frequencies. We don't want to completely take them out. We don't want huge gaping holes in, in the frequency section up near 4K, but this is going to make room for things like vocals and things like that. Now, we also have the octave range, which is the first, second, and third octave ranges. So it's also going to get the related frequencies above and below it if we have it on this setting, which I do like this setting a lot. So I only have this dipped two and a half dB. We are set at about 3.9K. I'm going to, again, play these guitars in solo so you can hear them better. And I'm going to enable, and then uh, I'm gonna turn this on and off and listen for those frequencies. You can't unhear them once you hear them. And then we're gonna do this in the context of a mix to show you how much it's cleaning up our guitars. Let's do it. You hear the whistling? I absolutely hate it. Now we are gonna lose some high frequencies. We have a compensation dial, thank you, Dan. I typically am dialing this in at about one dB or so. It just depends on the context of a mix. And typically I am doing this while playing back the mix. I do have the guitars isolated so you can hear them a little easier. Let's unsolo the guitars and I'm going to turn this off and on and you cannot unhear the nastiness in the guitars. Check this out. It's important to remove these frequencies because if you start compressing or doing other things down the line, you are going to only amplify the nastiness. Now, in comparison, let's turn this off. Let's close out this plugin and let's turn on an instance of Soothe and see if we can't dial out those same frequencies. And you know what? Let's even go to, let's see the factory preset. I know Nolly has a guitar D spike. Let's check that out. So I'm listening to the frequencies that are being removed and I'm hearing a lot more frequencies that I, I want to keep in, but it's kind of overdoing it on the Soothe. All right, so let's see if we can fine tune that a little bit. I feel like it is catching the, the nasty frequencies. However, it's also, like I said before, is, is overdoing it a little bit. It's a little less precise in my opinion. However, with the amplified instrument processor, you can just dial that right in. Insane, isn't it? Uh, check out the Amplified Instrument Processor. I think this is around $100 at the time of this filming, and all the Cornif Audio stuff is really, really awesome. This has been a wonderful tool 
um, not just the, the mid-range filter, but the whole plugin is just amazing. And if you want to go behind the scenes and see where you're at, you can click on the Corniff logo and you can kind of get into the guts of the plugin and tweak and tweak to your heart's content. It's really, really awesome. That does it for me. I will link down below in the description if you'd like to know more about any of the plugins I've used in this video. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.